bring pressure off the blitz. And that time, a little more firepower out of the Wolverine defense. He's one of the better interior players that you're going to see, not just in the Big Ten, but in the country. He's played a lot of football for the Wolverines. So a lot of things going on, and here the Irish jump out to a 14-point lead. Robinson keeps it this time, and that's their first first down. Of and Robinson breaks out against the defense. To the 30-yard line. And a first down for the Wolverines. That's an 18-yard gain, Herbie. And it's the first time we've seen the offensive line give Denard Robinson a chance to be able to make some plays. Tied in, coming in motion, picks up a good block. Drives it back to Goodman. Goodman trying to get the left edge, and he will not get there. All alone at the bottom. Now Reed looks in direction, fires to him, and it's intercepted at the 44-yard line. They were going to bring pressure. Here's Kovacs lined up right here, but he's going to sink into coverage, and the corner Floyd is going to drop. It surprises the quarterback, Reese. Look at Kovacs. He gets out underneath it and does a good job. I don't think Tommy Reese ever even saw Kovacs, but it was all because Kovacs up tight, looked like he was a man-to-man, -man, and as the ball is snapped, he jumped out to the flat and got underneath the throw. Second and eight. Play action. Robinson with lots of time. Going to go deep down toward the end zone. Caught at the three. Hemingway reaches. Junior Hemingway has a touchdown. A brilliant play, and it began with Michigan's offensive line. 43 yards, and Hemingway with a tremendous scoring effort. Michigan needed a big play, not just to get on the board, but to spark this team. How about the offensive line that time? Giving Robinson all the time in the world, but really, it, to me, it was the adjustment. The ball is underthrown, and Junior Hemingway comes back. Bray never found the football, and he goes up, makes the play, and then the effort to try to reach for the pylon. Gets open, and Reese finds him. That's 100 yards for Floyd already. Reese rolls right, fires in zone into double coverage, and it's intercepted at the goal line by the Wolverines. That's their second interception, and it snuffs a rally. Because he was waiting for his receiver right here. Floyd, who's going to come back here, but watch this man right here. Floyd just kind of sink. But if he looks early, he's got Floyd. He also has his underneath man, but he's late with the football, and he locked in to try to get the ball because he's had so much success already. Throwing the ball to Floyd brings for Wood. Stop. Terrific defense by the Wolverines. Van Bergen, Mike Martin, the boys up front on third and short. It was their time to step up, and that's exactly what they did. That was a punt off, and now Michigan's back inside their 10. And it's Denard Robinson keeping it himself. Just what you said he should do. Make more plays, and he does indeed. So the Irish better get ready. Here comes number 16. That's 39 yards on that first down run. And it's one of the few times Manti Teo, the linebacker, number five, will be right in the middle of your picture. Actually follows the back that time, Michael Shaw. Everybody followed the back. Great read on the read option. Of course, this is his comfort zone. He pulls it out, and he can get upfield in a hurry. They were Wonderful man. First down and 10. Wood. Fumble the ball. Ball came free. Wolverines dive in after it. They've got it. First indication is Michigan football. Ball game. Sierra Wood puts this ball on the ground. Michigan's defense on a slant does a good job of getting some penetration, getting a hand on the football, but it wasn't a big hit that, that jarred this ball loose. He just eventually looked like he was trying to make a cut back. So it is third down. Doesn't scramble out, and there, his third reception, a big one to Coger. I mean, that's pretty remarkable that the longest drive for Michigan's four plays here tonight. Play action. Still standing. Strength. Completes it to Hemingway. He's headed for the end zone in a foot race. Can he make it? He cannot. Because let's stop Denard Robinson. Don't let him get outside. They do a good job of containing Lewis Morris right there. He just can't pull him down. He's got his jersey. He's got his ankle. He's got everything. Denard Robinson's lower body. Got him at the fullback spot. 
They give it right to him, and he's stuffed. Fumble picked up Robinson. Touchdown, Michigan. Mr. George Hill, ever on the steps over there. That <laughs> ties their longest drive. Uh oh, bad bounce. Wolverines will try to close in. Down at the 10 yard line. Floyd down at the bottom, Brent. They got to try to run for it here, and they throw him for a loss. That is Hawthorne again. Yeah, he can play pretty good high school football down at Pahokee, and he times this up perfectly. That's the thing you have to really appreciate about this Michigan defense, learning Greg Madison's scheme. They're, it's new to them, but they're timing it up perfectly. Second and 15. Play action. Now they drop it off underneath to the fullback. There is a Bo Schimbeckler play. John McColgan. That's a position you didn't see in the last administration, folks. High formation, man-to-man -man coverage. The tight end actually occupies Manti Teo and Dan Fox, who just made a great play. To and Denard lofts it one-on-one. -on -one. End zone. Touchdown. Robinson's second touchdown pass of the day. He has him blanketed, but he intentionally threw it behind his receiver so he could see the, the football and adjust back to it. And it's the second time Gary Gray could not find the ball in coverage. Hemingway got him earlier, and this time it's Gallon adjusting back to the ball for the touchdown. Don't forget about the Irish woes last week inside that 10-yard line. Let's see how they execute down here tonight. It's the running back. Fumble. Ball's loose. Michigan. As his uh, arm starts to come forward, no, that ball is out of his hands. That is a fumble. That's Michigan's football. And that is a fourth turnover tonight. That's nine in the first two weeks for Notre Dame's offense. Down territory. So this is... Second down coming up here. Coming out for the one going deep double coverage, and it's grabbed at midfield. Denard Robinson just waited for this play to develop, and he actually just threw it up into double coverage. By throwing that football, Lewis Moore comes in late. Look at this. Look at this coverage here. You got two safeties bracketing the receiver, and neither one's able to find the football. Back with USC. 17-14. Stuff. Nothing doing on that play. Been from Westlake, Ohio, and a good-looking player, 90. You see how quickly he came around? Nobody even picked him up, but he was able to close in that time, and Wood didn't have a chance. Great job of getting around the tight end, Eifert. They're going to try to set the return. This punt drives Gallon way back. It's a beautiful punt. Back to the 21. And Gallon works the sideline. Quarterback draw, keeps it. Trying to get the first down, and this one's going to depend on where they spot the football. Got it. Brady's got good eyes. Stay in practice, he's got a leg. Denard fires, got it complete. Brady. Pulls out and rolls the right. He's going to throw back to the left to set up a screen. It's Vincent Smith. One of the plays they practice in the game plan. He's loose. End zone. Michigan leads it. A great call because of your concern of this guy right here rolling out. Watch the linebackers and watch the safety. Everybody's going to flow here, and then they get the ball thrown back to the other side. The patience here. Look at the defense flowing to the right. They get everybody out of position. A great move right there by Vincent Smith, and then he had the blocks downfield. Darius Fleming was in position to be able to make the play. Vincent Smith sneaks out the back door. Right there, Fleming had a chance to make a play. Vincent Smith makes the miss, and then he had a convoy to lead him into the end zone. Great call by Al Borges, and a nice job of saving that play for late in the game. 
second and ten. Steps away from the pressure, fires downfield, wide open to Gallon. They left him alone. Needs a block. Now he's in a foot race. Out of bounds at the 15, and there's eight seconds to go. Well, we just saw the Michigan defense make some mistakes, and this time, even though they're in that Hail Mary formation, Brent, you said it, they just lost Gallon. Didn't even pay attention to him. They were locked into the middle of the field, thinking he may just throw it up to Hemingway, but he does a good job of improvising. Starts Smith in motion. He's going to throw for it. He's got to throw it to the end zone. Lobs it up. One-on-one. -on -one. Cut. Michigan. Touchdown. I can't believe this. Rory Roundtree. There's a penalty flag thrown at the two-yard line. Touchdown is the call on the field with two seconds remaining. It counts. Once again, one on one to the outside. Roundtree is locked up. And, you know, we have seen this time and time again with Gary Gray down in the end zone, getting lost in coverage. He was pushing back and forth with Roundtree. An amazing call by Al Borges to show the confidence and to take this chance here. I thought they would just position it for the, the game-tying field goal to get it into overtime. Instead, they take a chance and put it up there. Look at Gray. Head is turned. Doesn't know where the football is. Roundtree has possession. It looked like it came loose there at the end, but I thought he had the, I thought he had the football right there. It looks like he has a foot down, and it looks like that should be a touchdown. In two years on the ground to run the clock out. Slips down. Picked up. Loose ball. End zone dives going through the end zone. Game over. Folks, you have just seen an instant classic. 